Yes, I did. I went to that fucking address. And no, I didn't tell anybody. Because, come on, all of this was bizarre enough by itself. I couldn't drag someone else into this ghost from an era bygone. Also, I really didn't have anyone close enough to want to go with me. So I didn't have any option. Ah, oh, well, yes, I could have tried other things. The cops. But I had enough problems in my youth. The files were destroyed. The crimes of the boy wouldn't be taken into account to judge the man, yes. But I did remember my brief clash with the cops. And I knew nothing would be easy. And I could have just ignored the pictures and the message and everything. But here's the thing. You can't stop a nightmare. And I was living a nightmare. Again. There's another thousand excuses for my behavior. Feel free to call me an idiot. The address was a public park. I went to the entrance. I was alone. Just me. No cars passing by, and of course that late in the night, not a single soul haunting the streets. And of course, that's a lie. I saw a light. It flashed three times. Not too far, but far enough for me to not see a damn thing. I realized someone was calling my attention with a flashlight or something. I used my phone and repeated the pattern. Three flashes. Then I saw the light going on and staying. I walked toward it. The light. It advanced. It moved. And then it disappeared. I saw a shadow. A silhouette. A woman. Then she turned the light on again. My heart was racing. My body, it felt cold. So cold. My hands inside the pockets of my jacket. My eyes staring at the grass. My footsteps rhythmic in a trance. I wasn't blinded. I could see. Barely. And I kept walking. And she kept walking. Until we were close. Then she turned it off. Nice to see you again, she said. She was smiling. It took me several seconds to understand, but... Seems I fell for the oldest trick in the book. Barbara, I whispered. You fucking bitch. I insulted her with every single curse I knew, twice. She took it, as calm as a lake in a sunny day. Did you get that out of your system? She asked as she put both her hands covered by black gloves inside the pockets of her coat. I said yes. I need your help, she said. You're the only one who can help me, and if you don't, things will come to haunt us both. My next two words weren't particularly original. Fuck and you. Then she waited again until I calmed down. Mostly. Talk, I said. And she did. Sariel was back. The order, according to Barbara, never really died. He rebuilt it from the ground up. In the other coast of the country, they became strong, influential, powerful. They're clean, legally clean. And there are certain things from the past that can't come back to haunt them. I listened. I didn't know if or why I should believe her, so I didn't. Hey, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, fuck me, am I right? So we're in danger, I said, and you believe what? She told me a story. Two people tracked her down and tried to kill her. One of them dropped their phone. She picked it up and escaped. Then by searching through the phone, she learned all about this, including my address, and drove three states to meet me. To lure me. Because there's one way to do it, she said. One way to escape with our lives. Not just with our capacity to breathe, but our lives, our jobs, our cars, our loved ones. I called bullshit, and I told her it was bullshit. Then I walked to my car. 
You don't understand, she said as I left. They're coming for you. The first thing you'll notice will be a stain on your door. They use some chemical to make it easier to break in. <laughs> yeah, sure, I thought. She kept talking and I kept ignoring her. I went back to my house and I found a stain of some kind just in my front door. I smiled. Well played, Barbara, I thought. Well played. Then I went inside and made myself a sandwich. And as I took the first bite, I felt something in my back. If you move, I will kill you, someone said. And no, I didn't move. For another video, tune in every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to check the link for our social media descriptions. Sleep well, if you can. Ha 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 